So my name is Lynn Susky. I'm from Yavis, New Mexico, and I graduated from here, Coronado High School, class of 1996. For a living, I am an advanced EMT. EMTs come in different levels, levels of licensure. The level I'm currently at is an AEMT, which is advanced EMT. Actually, my late uncle brought me into this field. Uh, he lived with my mom, she was his caretaker, and we called 911 one night and nobody came for two hours. I started volunteering with my local fire department. So my name is Marco Gutierrez. I'm actually from a small community not too far from here called Regina, a lot of people know about it. And I graduated from Coronado High School in 2018. Right now, I'm a EMT basic. Right now, I am currently working for a service in Cuba and um, I typically work 48 hour shifts. Was always the one that brought home stray animals, doctored them up. If something went wrong, I was the one everybody came to. I always wanted to help. Um, after high school, I was originally going to go and get my nursing degree. Um, I did my two years at a community college, um, and I realized that just wasn't for me. Pre-pandemic, my plan was I was going to become a culinary artist, go to culinary school, open up my own restaurant. So my mother, who's also an EMT, actually told me, hey, go get your basic, go get a job, and if you plan on going back to culinary art school later, that's okay, but at least you have a job. And I fell in love with this. This is something I truly fallen in love with, and it's something I plan on pursuing for the rest of my life. So the processes that I went through to become an EMT, first I started volunteering with my local fire department. They asked me, do you want to go to any kind of trainings? And um, I realized that there was a lot of volunteers on the fire side, to the fire department, but not many for the medical side. And so I went to a first responder for class first. I realized that I could actually not only gain the skills and the knowledge, but probably go into the field as a career because there was a big lack of EMTs in the area and local entities were crying for help. Uh, EMT basic, it's in the name, it's a basic license. You can get it through any type of community college, universities, a uh, 14 to 16 week class, course, 150 course hours. A local volunteer fire department, you could actually start at the age of 16. I didn't have to go to college for this, like your four year program. At the end of that semester, you are ready to test. You're ready to test at the state level. And then you also test at the national level. It's a, called the National Registry. I love my job. This job is very, very rewarding. Um, it's something, it's the type of job that when I go on for a 48 or a 96 hour shift, or whatever it is that week, it's a job that I'm excited for. It's not a job that when I wake up and I get out of bed, I'm upset, I'm dreading going to work. It's something that I get up, I'm energetic, I'm excited, I'm ready for the day, I'm ready to see what my shift is going to entail. And that's the beauty of EMS. EMS is a life choice. It's a choice that you have to make because like I said, it's a very rewarding job, but it's also a job. You're gonna see a lot of things that not a lot of people will typically see in their lifetime. And also our community is in dire help and dire need. I don't think that people realize how much there's a need in not only our community, every community. Those of us that are working this field, we're working a lot of overtime our response times are typically 20 to 30 minutes, and that's, that's quick. When you call 911, it's, you have seconds, and not minutes, not hours, you have seconds to save a person's life. And when you call 911, you want somebody there as quickly as possible because those seconds, every second counts. This is a challenging field, but at the same time, it's just as rewarding. I've delivered babies, I have, um, saved lives. I've brought people back from an overdose, from a cardiac arrest. And when you do get those saves, it is one of the best feelings in the world to a week later or two weeks later be able to see that person come home from the hospital and go back to their lives. And it makes you feel like what you're doing really, really makes a difference. 